In this lesson, we'll learn how to draw a maquette that will be used to build our character on top of. Okay, fantastic. So this is kind of where we left off in the previous lesson. I've got my head shape up here. Uh, we've got our head ticks. So we know exactly how tall we want our character to be. So at this point, what we're going to focus on is drawing out our maquette. Now, um, in terms of the maquette, really what's important here is uh, anatomical correctness in terms of scale and position of the major key points on the body. So thinking about joints like the shoulders or the elbows or the wrists, um, things like the knees. Also knowing kind of how wide we want these elements. Remember our character here, I've got him hidden. He's rather slender. So he's uh, very tall, very lean, very slender. So we want to sort of elongate a lot of these features. That's why one of the reasons we went with eight heads tall. So um, now I do have my concept pulled up on a separate monitor here that we're, um, I'm looking at. So don't feel um, like I'm not looking at it because I am. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you. So um, really at this point, what we need to do is come in and start to establish the location of some key points. So uh, we might come in here and tell Photoshop by drawing a simple line where the shoulders are going to be. Um, we've got our center mark here on our guides layer. So we can come down and think about uh, where we might want that waist to be. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to put the waist right about here or so. And now we're also that's kind of where I envision the belt hanging. Um, obviously his belly button's probably going to be a little higher than that, but I want to also come down here and put a little mark right here for kind of where I think his inseam might be um, uh, with his pants. So uh, now in terms of kind of the width of the body, um, what I'm going to do is focus on just one side here. So we're going to start off with sort of a rib cage like shape and just draw something sort of like that. And I'm going to bring this on down on this side here. And we're going to kind of connect it to what I like to draw is just kind of an underwear type shape um, right around in here. Sort of like that. Um, now when it comes to kind of the legs here, I like to map those out uh, with just a simple line and a sphere. So thinking about where I want to plot those knees out to be, if we wanted to plot, say, the knee right there. We could come over here and just draw a little simple circle there. Come over and maybe bring that down like so. Now I'm going to grab my lasso tool by hitting the L key on my keyboard and just lasso that up because I've got him a little bit bow-legged. So uh, what we can do here is we can come in and control T to free transform. We should be able to grab this little dot right here and move it up kind of where his hip connects. And I can come in and just rotate that. And you can see I'm rotating it based on that pivot here. So um, we'll hit Enter to confirm that. And now we do have a selection made. Well, it doesn't look like we do. So we want to hit Control D. All right, great. So uh, now same thing with the arms. We're going to come in here and think about kind of where we want that shoulder to be. And we're going to come in and just kind of draw. I'm going to draw my character in as what I referred to in the last lesson as an M pose. So we're going to come in here and put a little dot right there for his elbow. Kind of come down here, sort of like so. And then we're going to draw in sort of a hand shape. Maybe something like that. You can notice I'm not focusing at all on detail. Just really position, location of the feature, and uh, in some cases, form. So um, we've got sort of this drawn right now. So at this point, we've kind of got uh, a torso and an abdomen with some sticks. So we could come in here. And we could start to sort of flush this out. So if we wanted to come in and start to kind of draw the neck muscles and the shoulder muscles, just start basically using our guide here. Now, if you're not really good at drawing anatomy or if you are new to drawing anatomy, I would recommend pulling up some reference online. Um, I don't have any images to show you, but um, if you just want to go to your preferred search engine and maybe do sort of an image search for uh, male anatomy. And uh, what I like to do sometimes is just pull that up and keep it on a separate monitor just for uh, basically mus muscle groups. So if I want to know where the bicep is and how that connects around the elbow here, um, coming in and maybe thinking about kind of the forearm muscles and what those look like, how the curvature of those differs on one side of the arm versus the other. So maybe we come in sort of like this. And you'll notice here that I'm also drawing his, uh, his arm is rather slender. So keeping in mind his 
shape is very, very slender. Um, we definitely want him to come across as kind of a almost uh, a guy that's all height and no width. So I'm going to come in here and actually begin to tone down some of the curves for these muscles. So um, it's really easy to sort of, if you're looking at an anatomy reference online, um, to come in and really kind of over bulk the muscles. So um, a lot of times these curves are very, very subtle. Now, uh, if you want to undo back more than one time here inside of Photoshop, you can simply hit Control, Alt, and Z. And that will allow you to step back through history here instead of just undoing back one step. So um, we're going to come in here and just sort of continue drawing this guy. Uh, now when it comes to the legs, we'll come in and just draw sort of a leg shape here. I'm going to bring that in a little closer to the center point. Now again, with some of these features, uh, based on the concept, it's really not going to matter the shape of the legs. So I'm not going into a lot of detail with the legs at this point, just because I know that those legs, uh, they're not going to be seen because he's wearing kind of some baggy pants. So uh, maybe we come in, sort of bring in our leg shapes, kind of like so. And we'll bring that down to a foot here. Uh, now, the, for the feet are really, really important when it comes to drawing orthographics because a lot of people want to draw their feet either uh, kind of down at an angle like this or maybe they want to draw them um, kind of even skewed to the side some, sort of like this. But uh, really that's not a good thing for a modeler. A modeler needs those to be pointed straight. Now if he naturally is going to have a little bit of sort of a pigeon toed type look like most people do, most people's feet don't point stri in straight lines in front of them, um, then that can always be handled uh, once the rigging artist has got a hold of the model. Um, they can um, place the bones in and they can just begin to rotate those around. So um, I'm just going to come in and draw the foot shape sort of like this. So you can see we're looking pretty much straight down at the foot. Uh, again, I'm not going into detail in terms of toes and things of that nature. Um, really, again, kind of what we're focusing on here is just the contour of the uh, uh, of the maquette. So, so we'll come in sort of like that. Um, I think his legs a little bit slender up in here, but uh, I can always come in and begin to thicken that up. But what I do want to show you next is um, kind of zooming out on this. You can see that I've been focusing pretty much strictly on one side of the body. Well, um, the reason for that is is because when it comes to this anatomy, it should be the exact same on the other side. So um, what we can do is we can come in and grab our rectangular marquee here by hitting the M key on our keyboard. And let's just start our selection right about here. And I'm going to just drag this down. Let's just stop at his knee for right now. And let's zoom in. I'm going to zoom in to where I have my guide there really nice and clearly split by that pixel or that rather that selection line. So what this is going to allow me to do is once I have the selection made, and you can see I do, I've got everything that I want to replicate over to the other side selected. What I can do is I can hold down control and that accesses my move tool. If I again hold down the alt key, we're going to make a copy of this. So um, I can come in here, alt, or rather control, alt, and begin to drag this. And now if I hold shift, it's going to drag it directly to the right. So uh, I'm going to come over and just drag that. doesn't really matter where I drop it because the next step in this process is to flip this information horizontally. Now uh, looking at this, obviously <laughs> we've got his right arm here. We need a left arm for him. So, uh, And we do still have a selection made. Even if, though you can't really see the marching ants, that's still selected. If I were to hit my delete key, you can see that it's going to go away. But let me undo that. So instead, let's control T to free transform and right click and we'll just choose flip horizontal just like so and you can see now I can begin to come in and snap in those details um, now in this case we probably want to just kind of line the edge of our bounding box up with our center point sort of like so 
And what that'll allow us to do is get mirror details over on the other side. So uh, now in looking at this, we may need to come in and, and make some changes. Now I hit enter to confirm that change and I'll hit control D to deselect. Uh, but now I'm looking at this and with those details mirrored over to the other side, I've got, I feel like his torso is just a little bit narrow. So what I might do is come in here and I'm actually feeling like his arms are a little bit low as well. So let's go ahead and grab our lasso, come in and begin to lasso this guy up, sort of like so. And again, free transform, move our pivot, and we're going to rotate this out just a little bit. And Nick, let's go ahead and nudge that to the left a couple times with an arrow key, maybe something like that. What that's going to allow me to do is come over and after I use my lasso tool to select his other arm, I can now come over and mirror that arm to this location on the other side of the body. Now I'm subtracting from my selection right now by holding down the Alt key, just kind of subtracting a little bit at back from that around his shoulder, and I'll hit the Delete key on my keyboard. Now we can also m flip a selection horizontally. So uh, if I wanted, again, we could right click on our selection, again with our lasso tool selected, we'll come down to Transform Selection, right click again and choose Flip Horizontal, and then we can hold Shift and just drag this guy to the left. So what I've done here is I've basically just flipped my selection horizontally. Now ultimately we probably need to move our pivot up here and rotate this a little bit because the other arm was just rotated as well. So we'll come in and rotate that right about there, nudge it over with my right arrow key, hit enter, and let's go ahead and control and alt, drag, shift, and release, free transform, control T, and flip horizontal, and we'll just reattach his arm. Now this is a situation where we may want to do all the way over to this center line because I don't know that uh, the exact place that I drop that is mirrored from its location over here. So I may need to come back in and double check that after the fact, but what that's going to allow me to do now is come in and begin to, after I hit Control D to deselect, I can use my brush and I can begin to add a little bit of width to his waist, sort of like that. Just make him a little bit beefier in the middle. He uh, looked very much anorexic before. So um, again, this is kind of the process for drawing out a maquette. Very, very simple process. Again, not focused on details, really just focused on anatomical correctness. And again, you can pull up any uh, anatomy sketch or reference off an image search and basically use that as reference for building this particular maquette. But um, now at this point, what we're able to do is we can come in and begin to draw our character on top of this and basically using this as sort of a, uh, a guide for that.